Okie dokie. In this problem, we are given a graph of the biomass function. And the goal is to identify the rate of change graph of this original biomass function. It seems a little intimidating, but let's break it down. The important concept here is that the slope of the biomass function, the original function here, the slope values of that function should be equal to the y values of the rate of change graph here graphs here so um, the easy way to break it down is we can identify where this original function up here has positive and negative slopes because where it has a positive slope that'll correspond to where these graphs or the correct graph should be above the x-axis or have positive y values likewise where this function has negative slopes the correct function down here should have negative y values or lie below the x-axis. So let's break it down. Where does this original function have positive and negative slopes? It looks like it starts positive and then really right around two, it changes to a negative slope the entire rest of the way. So what we're looking for is if it starts with that positive slope from about zero to two, we're looking for the function down here, the rate of change function that lies above the x-axis from about zero to two. So it looks like A starts above the x-axis, that's pretty good. B starts below the x-axis at its leftmost point, so we can eliminate option B. Likewise, C starts below the x-axis. We can eliminate, or yeah, C starts below the x-axis, so we can eliminate option C. And then option D starts above the x-axis, so that is a good sign. The other difference about options A and D have to do with the y values that they have. So the question is how can we identify which graph is correct based on its y values? Well, what do we know about the y values of rate of change graphs? We know that the y values of the rate of change graphs correspond to the slope values of the biomass graph. So I'm thinking if we can estimate the slope, say at time six, estimate the slope at time six, not on these graphs, but on the original graph. Can we estimate the slope at this point, for example, at time six? If we can estimate the slope of that function at time six, we can get an idea of what the y value of the rate of change graph should be at time six. So let's not waste any more time. At time six, we can estimate the slope by picking points to the left and to the right. So for example, we can say this point here is four comma five approximately. It has an x value of four, y value of about five. And then say down here, we can identify this ordered pair to be eight comma, it's a little trickier, it's sort of in between 3.5 and 4, so maybe let's call it 3.75. If we can find the slope between these two points, it'll be a great estimate for the slope right in the middle at 6. So we're going to find the slope between those two points by doing y2, 3.75, minus y1, 5 and dividing by the change in x values, 8 minus 4. So 3.75 minus 5 would be negative 1.25. And then we're dividing by 4. So let's break out Desmos. Negative 1.25 divided by 4. That gives us about negative 0.31. And when we look at these options here, it looks like, um, so because the slope at t equals 6 was about negative 0.3, and the slope of this graph corresponds to the y values on the rate of change graphs, we can claim that right around t equals 6, the y value on this graph is rightly so about negative 0.3, while on option d, it's just barely below negative point one. So we know that D cannot be the answer because 
the y value of option A's graph at t equals 6 matches the slope of the original graph at t equals 6. So kind of drawn out explanation, but I hope that makes sense. Um, A is our best answer here. If you'd like another example worked out, feel free to check out my other video.